a long time ago, you're on a camel, and your friends are on a camel, and you've got a long journey ahead of you, and you're using something in the sky to guide you, to give you direction and position so that you reach your destination, and it's a long journey. This is going to take more than two months. Would a star be more useful to you, or would a comet be more useful to you? Which of these two heavenly phenomena would be more useful from a navigation point of view? I put it to you that perhaps a comet, because it has a head and a tail. The Chinese astronomers were far more advanced than their Western counterparts. The Chinese, the Chinese astronomers, according to NASA, kept very meticulous records about comets, when they appeared, when they disappeared. And they, these records were called comet atlases. And a typical comet atlas looks something like this. Doesn't mean much to an American or an Australian or an Englishman, but to the Chinese people, this is a detailed record of when a comet appeared in the sky and how long it lasted and when it appeared. On the 9th of March, 5 BC, this record appeared in the astronomy records of the Book of the Han Dynasty and translated into English, it reads in the second month of the second year of Yanping, the comet was out of Altair. Altair is a star. This comet came out of a star and it lasted for more than 70 days. And it is said comets appear to signify the old being replaced by the new. Altair, the sun, the moon and the five stars are in movement to signify the beginning of a new epoch the beginning of a new year, a new month and a new day. This is dated 9th of March, 5 BC. That's Altair. It's in the constellation of Aquila. It's the brightest star in the constellation of Aquila. And the Chinese astronomers are saying, on the 9th of March, 5 BC, this comet appeared out of, seemingly appeared out of this star. And it lasted for more than 70 days. The appearance of this comet undoubtedly symbolizes change, they said. The extended appearance of the comet for more than 70 days indicates that this is of great importance. And there's the reference on the screen. The Bible says the wise men who came to visit Jesus Christ, who was to be born in Bethlehem, they said, we've seen his star in the east and we've come to worship him. The wise men thought it was a star. The Chinese astronomers who knew nothing about this thought it was a comet. To them, it looked like a comet. To the wise men, it looked like a star. This record is dated 31 AD and it's in the history of the latter Han Dynasty and there's the reference. And it says, summer, fourth month of the year on the day of Ren Wu, the imperial edict reads, yin and yang have mistakenly switched and the sun and the moon were eclipsed. The signs of all, the sins of all the people are now on one man. Pardon is proclaimed to all under heaven. They knew nothing about Jesus, and this is dated 31 AD. They knew nothing about Jesus Christ, but in their soul, in their spirit, they felt that this sudden eclipse of the sun, unexpectedly, meant that the sins of people were pardoned and had been placed on one man. That's amazing, isn't it? And then it goes on to say, the eclipse on the day of Gui Hai, man from heaven died. How did the Chinese people know this? There in China, Jesus Christ was being crucified in Jerusalem. 
They knew nothing about it. But in their records, when they saw this eclipse, these imperial astronomers wrote, man from heaven has died. Then three days later, There was, an eclipse, there was a halo around the sun, 360 degree rainbow halo, three days later. During the reign of Emperor Guangwu on the day of Bin Ying of the fourth month of Yanwu, a halo, a rainbow, encircled the sun, three days later. So folks, here is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. They didn't know what they were writing. They were simply recording what they saw not knowing what it meant. And so here, folks, to start off this amazing message tonight, we have three evidences where the Chinese astronomers, unknowing to them, pinpointed the year of Christ's birth, the year of his death, and three days later, his resurrection. And I hope if you're watching, I have now got your attention. Now when the sixth hour had come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour Jesus cried out with a loud voice, saying, Eloi, Eloi, lama sovachtoni, which is translated, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And Jesus cried out with a loud voice, and breathed his last. Then the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. So when the centurion, who stood opposite him, saw that he cried out like this and breathed his last, he said, Truly this man was the Son of God. Please, hit the subscribe button.